DB Eskenazi was in the runs again as Middlesex cruised to a 63-run victory over Sussex at Lords as their T20 blast campaign continues to improve. As the bat first, Middlesex was soon on the move with Max Holden using the middle of his bat to send T. Mal Mills into the stand. At the other end was the Middlesex man of the moment, Eskenazi. A ton, a 50 and an unbeaten 90 was now added to as he and Holden put 59 runs on the board inside the six overs of power play. And on they went with an opening partnership which soon had their side looking good. Gaps were found at will and boundaries were arriving consistently as they matched each other shot for shot to take their stand to 85. It was ended when Holden, on a smartly constructed 38, just failed to get enough on this shot and instead found Travis head in the deep. But Eskenazi was soon at yet another 50. This maximum added to his previous six fours. There can rarely have been a batsman who scored so consistently in this format. His latest half century occupied 29 balls. He and Joe Cracknell then took the total into three figures inside the 11th over. An ideal first half of the innings. But Eskenazi did not last much longer. A lofted drive off Will Beer, well held on the cover boundary by David Visa. Eskenazi out for a 35 ball 59. Middlesex supporters have already seen how destructive Daryl Mitchell can be and it took him only three deliveries to find his range. But on this occasion, his knock was no more than a cameo, as on 12, he was bowled by Ravi Bapara's much, much slower ball. Middlesex had 137 runs on the board with five overs remaining and then lost Cracknell for 21, the 16-year-old Archie Lenham showing no nerves in the outfield. And when Mills then trapped John Simpson in front for five, the Middlesex innings was in danger of unravelling. Luke Holman brought up the 150 in the penultimate over with a meaty blow into the distance. But he dragged the next delivery back onto his stumps to go with 10 runs to his name. A smart return catch by Visa to remove Tom Helm meant that the hosts were only able to make a score of 166 for seven from their 20 overs. So that now gave the bowlers some work to do. Helm was up for the challenge as he had Luke Wright brilliantly held by a diving Stephen Finn in the second over of the reply. Alas, that over did go for 16 runs, but Majib Ur Rahman put that behind him by having Phil Salt held by Eskenazi. The planning behind the dismissal and the placement of the fielder, a joy to behold. The Sharks had certainly not had it their own way in the power play, which ended with a total of 41 for two, which immediately became 41 for three, as Nathan Souter's top spinner first ball did for Aaron Thomason. Blake Cullen also had something to celebrate in his first over, the paceman persuading Visa to pull to Holman, a wicket which put Middlesex firmly on top, which became 56 for five at the halfway stage of the chase. Cullen with the prize wicket of Travis Head, who played on after making 23. It was all going swimmingly, and when Vapara miscued a hit off a superb Souter to Holden to fall for seven, Middlesex were closing in on a very impressive victory. The man who stood between them and that was a 21-year-old debutant with the excellent name of Harrison Ward. He wanted to be the raider of the lost shark, but instead was heading back to the Temple of Doom when on 22, he gave Souter his third wicket. The leggy ending with the very impressive figures of three for 13 from his four overs. Sussex then slipped to 87 for eight, Cullen in the wickets again as Beer scoffed a shot off him to Mitchell at mid on. Game over. The game then petered out. Finn grabbed the wicket of Mills in the last over. The Sharks sinking as they swam, ending their 20 overs well short on 103 for nine. Cullen with three for 21. It was a very confident performance in the field as the match was won by 63 runs, a thrashing really. With four games remaining, the next coming at Taunton immediately, Middlesex are finding some form.